everyone and today I'm going to be teaching you how I have configured my um, button bindings on my Switch Pro Controller to play Sun Haven on Steam. So here I'm already at the big picture mode of Steam. So here in libraries I can see here the the game Sun Haven. And before anything else, um, I have already connected my controller to the PC using a wired connection. And before doing any binding or modifications, let's just first make sure here in the settings icon, go to controller and then controller settings. Make sure everything here is checked. Okay, so I have already checked mine. Click on back and back and go to library. Go to Sunhaven and before clicking on play, let's first go ahead on manage game. Oh, okay. Let's just go ahead first and play so that we would be able to know the key binding. All right. We will be using this key bind um, buttons so that we can actually uh, map them on our controller. So, yeah. All right. So before um, clicking on play, let's just go to options. And then edit key binds. All right. So here, this is very important. So for interact, um, E. For the spell one Q, spell two R. So it's important. Inventory I, skills K. All right. Map M and quest L. So I think these are the most important um, buttons to be mapped on our controller. Um, let's do the binding. Okay, back. All right, exit. Okay. All right, so let's just go here. Manage game. Controller configuration, yes. And here is my control configuration. If you want to copy this, please um, feel free to do so. Let's start here. Okay, this is how it looks like for me when you click on it. It has this um, directional pad and then eight way overlap. Okay, I'm not changing anything to that. And then for here, okay, still directional pad and eight way overlap back. For joystick mouse, which is um, on my end, this one. So, okay, click action M because I want to open the map when I press on this one. Okay, so when you click on that one, there are a lot of buttons here on the keyboard that you can select. So it's up to you what button you would like to bind this with. So on my end, I'd like to open the map when I click on it. So I pressed M. So back. All right, in here, it's actually um, very important for me to use the left click on my mouse. So I have um, set A for the left click okay so to do that this is for a and then i have hovered here to l for left click all right and then this here this is supposed to be for b i have selected space to jump okay please refer to the picture above all right so for y i have selected i so that I can open the inventory. And then here for X, I have um, I have selected E so that we can do interaction with the button X. All right, so that's it. And here, okay, here's very important, the L, R, and the L and the R. Okay, for L, I have selected previous weapon okay so this one on the mouse okay and then for r i have selected this one scroll up for the items uh, i will show it to you in a bit and then for zl i have selected q for skill one skill one okay so yeah q for that one and then for um, ZR, I have selected R for skill number two. Okay, so for now, that's it. Um, you are actually free to map whatever button you'd like to map here on your um, controller. So for me, this is my setup. So if you'd like to 
create or set up yours similar to this one feel free to do so and i'll just show you the game using the controller now okay nice okay so to select the weapon in the inventory r and l okay nice it's working so let's try to water some plants okay nice it's working okay so button a is working y to open the inventory nice um b to jump okay jump nice it's working and x i think to interact or yeah to e to open the house yes it's working yeah okay nice it's working and then what else we have configured Z and R for the item selection here it's working and then yes to water the plants skill number two okay let's just summon the clouds nice yes I have pressed this one and to attack or to do skill number one here ZL nice it's working okay perfect and to click on this one to open the map okay great working nice okay so that's how it is you can actually configure yours according to your liking and basically everything's just in the steam's big picture mode and controller settings on your game so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video bye bye